Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sunday. Even though we normally start on Monday, I'm going to start today with another week of what's for dinner. My husband has graciously agreed to cook some wings for us. This is his buffalo wings. I'll show you mine. I'm not feeling that great, so I'm very appreciative that he is willing to cook for me. Hopefully mine's a little healthier, not much. I've got honey barbecue wings and a little fruit cup and some avocado. And that is what's for dinner, supper on Sunday. It's Monday. I've made some homemade uh, skillet beef stroganoff. I have recorded it. If anyone is interested in seeing that recipe, it's a very old recipe from a dear friend. I've made a salad. My husband's has tomato on it, and Mine we've just looks better. his looks better. He wants me to show you his. <laughs> He's got a lot of stroganoff, a lot of tomato mm -hmm. on his salad. Um, I don't remember where I was or what I was doing. The corn is from the freezer. I tried cutting it off the cob the end of the summer and freezing it, and he wanted to break open the squash relish from his mom that she gave us. I've never tasted it, delicious. but it is delicious. He wants to have it with his corn. Uh, I wish that I was half the cook that my mother-in-law, her mom, her sisters are, but I will never be that good of a cook. So that's delicious, and that Stroganoff salad and corn with squash relish is what's for dinner. Is that two thumbs up? Two thumbs up. I can't see it. Hold on. Two thumbs up. That's what's for dinner Monday. Okay, we'll let it sit. We'll let it cook and we want it to curl up on the edges, all right? So once it sort of curls up on the edges, then we take um, uh, what I love to use is a nice silicone. We'll just keep going. We'll go. Uh, buttermilk and then dry ingredients, buttermilk, dry ingredients, and then start, we're starting with dry ingredients, ending with dry ingredients. This is the, uh, the uh, order or sequence of events, rather. So once you get into the shooters in the bottom, and I made a nice icing. So the icing on top is a very simple recipe. Just half a cup, half a cup of margarine, uh, one eight ounce pack of cream cheese for your Philly person. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night. I've been home today. I'm very happy and thankful to say I did not have to go to a hospital, a doctor's office, or an imaging lab today. I was able to do some stuff around here and I've cooked. Very, Also very, very happy to report that I used my Instant Pot to steam some pre-made dumplings, something I used to do in my rice cooker. I'm probably going to get rid of my rice cooker now. I'm feeling a lot more confident with the Instant Pot. So Asian tonight is a pork and cabbage stir fry with a spicy peanut sauce, some steamed edamame, and the dumplings. And that is what's for dinner Wednesday. Thursday night, we have successfully made food in the Instant Pot, thanks to Tim's help. Uh, we recorded it. I'm not sure I'll publish it because I was a little hesitant about stuff, but I've tried a very easy recipe for chicken and noodles. It really could be chicken noodle soup. There's a lot of broth in there. We're going to try this with some sauteed zucchini and just a leftover uh, bun that we had just with butter and cheese and chicken and noodles from the instant pot is what's for dinner Thursday just a quick update I have tried boiling eggs in the instant pot and I must say I'm officially impressed they were quick and I don't think I've ever had eggs come out perfect on the outside to make to use to make hard-boiled eggs mine usually have little gouges from where some of the peel has stuck so that was a big success. And they look just as good on the inside. I'm impressed. Friday night I have made chicken crescents or chicken squares again. I had several people ask for them. The last time I made them I did not film them so I, this is a YouTube meal. I made those just for you guys. I will get those out there soon. Not sure if they'll be, it's going to be after Christmas. Things are just too busy. Anyway, I digress. Friday night I made chicken crescents, some tomato soup that I jazzed up out of a carton, and some deviled eggs, and that is what's for dinner Friday night. It's Saturday, and we've gone to eat Mexican again. Chips and salsa, and our food's coming next. All right, Tim got his usual fajita quesadilla. He got rice with oh, look at that face. He got rice with his, so I ordered beans, and it came out on a really large plate of beans for us to share. I got a Speedy Gonzales, which is one taco and one enchilada, and a lot of rice. We are already full on chips, but it's awesome.